by first crop size. And Tassort's doing some remarkable the, the, things. All, isn't some it? of the others are too, yeah. too. Hunt and Super Seth. So big, big time here for those studs that, that stand those horses. You would think that Super Seth breeding would be coming into his own over a month. Well, he's a done deal, yeah. yeah. So, and he's then you think deal. with with uh, Manal, the Tassort, you know, he's he's the brilliant but, one. He was so fast. Done deal gets two-year-old group one winners. Yeah, he, he has in the past. Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's done exceptionally well. Militarised well. his mm, Absolutely, no. And I think I am Invincible's only two-year-old group one winner is in New Zealand. I don't think he's had a two-year-old right, yeah. group one winner in and this country. And they traditionally don't like uh, rain affected yeah. tracks, do so, they? Are you, so your roughies fearless? Oh, rough, oh, I'm with, I'm with the, uh, the filly in Manal as rain tumbles down at uh, Ranwick. I'm a slave to history, Bruce. I know you are as well. Look at the last 30 years of this race. And each and every year, I can remember the champagne, and we see a Fernhill winner back up, and we get intoxicated by it. Two times are only in the last 30 years that they've been good enough to win. Prized icon, mm. trained by James Cummings, and Dracula. And that was a long, long time ago. And I keep coming back to the fact that the Golden Slipper form, when whatever race any horse coming out of the Golden Slipper, keeps holding up. No, they do, no question. It used to be run before the sires for many, many and, to, and then the sires didn't have one for a while. And then from 1905, so it's a long time ago, it's been run after the sires. I'm only using the last 30 years. I didn't know if it was 1905. No, no, a That's long, a long, long time ago. ago. Um, Lizzie, last, last <laughs> thought. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know how to follow on from 1905, but I'm with broadsiding. I understand the history. I've just really liked him as a cult. Manal looks a million dollars if you're on her, and linebacker, well, he could be one out the box, especially after that really impressive victory, not only first up, but last time out where he really had to knuckle down. And the ATC and Racing New South Wales have shoved it up to a million dollars this race for this season. There's Manal. She's already got the group one. Up goes El Costello. Anthony Cummings has won one before. Here's the champagne, Darren Fundell. And the three-year-olds are about to go. The Philly Manal heavily back. All set. Ready to go. Racing now. Well, she was the first head of the gates, Manal, but a note is quickly whipping through. And a note takes the lead. The favourite's going to sit second. Manal in Fearless third. Linebacker zooms into fourth. They're followed further back by Tenbury Wells. In her eyes has taken a spot down on the rails. And the last two broadsiding on the inside of the maiden El Costello. So they've gone a few hundred metres and a note is the front runner by three quarters. Line back and now strides to second. Followed by fearless leaders back on the inside of the favourite Manal. So Jamie Carr's got the hot favourite one out one back. They're followed after two lengths then to Tenbury Wells and the outside of In Her Rise. El Costello's parked on the outside of the very well supported broad siding. He's quite content to stay down on the rail. So a note leads down the side. A note by three quarters to linebacker. They're followed by Fearless on the inside of Manal. Then came Tenbury Wells striding forward three wide, taking closer order. Back in the field, El Costello gets going. So broad siding's in a pocket. One off the fence now. In Her Eyes is down on the rail. 600 metres to go. A node in front narrowly from linebacker and Tenbury Wells goes to third. Followed by Fearless, fourth on the inside of Manal. Broad siding's right on her coattails as they come around the corner. And a note is flat to the boards in front narrowly from linebacker striding up. Two lengths away to Manal. Broad siding looking for a gap between runners as linebacker takes the lead of the 300. Beating off a node, then Fearless running on. Manal's grinding as broad siding starting to pick up. It's linebacker in front, 150 out, but broad Broad sidings looming large. Broad siding tackling linebacker. Broad siding and linebacker. Broad siding strong. Pulls away to win the champagne stakes by three quarters. Two linebacker and a gap to Fearless third. Manal didn't get through the conditions. Then came an a Big gap to Tembury Wells in her rise and El Costello. He's a good colt. We know he's a good colt. He's a too darn hot. He's a Fernhill champagne winner. Just like James did with prized icon pre Bart. Prize Icon won the Victoria Derby in that same year. 3 2 4 7. Lizzie, I thought they all had their chance. They did, and I think that his win was probably added with a lot more merit. He had to come from back in the field off a slow tempo. He travelled through like a really good horse. James had to really sort of tell him, OK, this is what I want you to extend and find the line. Linebacker had every opportunity, and it was a very, very good run. But broadsiding, I think he's the colt we're going to be talking about a lot next season. James Cummings, 95 group ones. 
49 of them, 40, James McDonald, 49 of them now in New South Wales, Sydney. It's incredible, isn't it? And also, James Cummings, um, we've been harsh, I think, on his season. A lot of people, a lot of commentary about how's Godolphin going. Six groups ones for the season. You think about it for a moment. He won a spring champion with Tom Kitten. He produced the Oats winner in Zardozzi in Melbourne. He got a new market with Cylinder and made him a stallion. He got uh, Zapatea to win a uh, Galaxy as well. And now he wins a share.